cut like a piece of chocolate cake. Cut like jobs in a recession. Cut like a head of hair in an army recruiting office. Cut like the kid who tried out for basketball back when you and I were in school and he had no business doing so. He was cut. A once popular cruise perk is cut. It's gone for just about every cruise line. We have news on that today. If it upsets us so, we're going to Holland America, who's celebrating 150 years and doing so by giving us beverages for 75 cents. 75 cent drinks. You can't buy Coke for that in today's world. Also on the show today, Nassau Bahamas sets yet another single day record for cruise passengers so many ships in port, thousands of passengers. Is it a good thing? And finally, Norwegian Cruise Line sharing, maybe we messed up. Maybe with our newest ship, the Prima, the Viva, we went too small. They went the opposite direction of everyone else in the industry. We all need some time in the islands. Let's go there now on Island Time. <music> A big happy Wednesday to all you Islanders. We are halfway through the week and we're starting a new month. March is here. Spring is almost here for many of us. Many of us are cruising this month. Amanda and I are cruising March the 18th on the Carnival at Vista. We're excited about that. What do you have going on this month? Are you cruising? Do you have a final payment due? Are you planning a cruise? Let us know in the comments section below. We are dropping our anchors. We're taking some time to relax in the islands. We have several cruise news stories to share with you today and there's going to be ample opportunity for you to get involved for you to be engaged to share your thoughts your comments on these news stories but first let me ask are you subscribed to this awesome community hit that subscribe button ring the bell to receive those notifications when we upload content let's get into this cruise news there's so much to talk about today and let's start with this right here a popular cruise perk that you and i have come to know and love was cut by carnival cruise line in 2022 norwegian cut this perk in december of 2022 and today it's royal caribbean sharing that twice a day housekeeping services are set to be cut. Royal Caribbean, one of the last holdouts to offer both morning and afternoon or evening housekeeping services for your cabin. Those loyal to Royal have pointed out, we still get our cabins clean twice per day, but Matt from the Royal Caribbean blog who knows that world so well is reporting that several ships have already started this option. You can choose, do you want that service to take place in the morning or would you like your cabin steward to clean your cabin, straighten your cabin in the evening? There's no longer twice a day cabin service. Royal Caribbean has not announced anything official yet, but the proof is in the cleaning service or lack thereof. Many people are asking why. Why Royal Caribbean? Why would you do this? And it's for the same reasons that other cruise lines did the same thing in 2022. You talk about labor, right? If cabin attendants, stateroom attendants only have to clean each cabin once per day, they can then clean more cabins over the span of a day and therefore it takes less crew members to clean cabins on a cruise ship. Labor is one of them. It's also been cited environmental reasons, right? If you have twice a day cleaning service, they're picking up your towels from your room. The towels that you use, they're probably not being reused. And it has an environmental impact, of course. And then other cruise lines have cited just the norms and hospitality. You don't get twice a day cleaning service when you stay at a hotel. Which cruise ships have already started this once a day cleaning service here? They are Quantum of the Seas, Ovation, Spectrum, Independence, Wonder, and harmony of the seas. All of them have already started this service with the spectrum of the seas, maybe set to take place April the 16th. Islanders, is twice a day cabin service something you miss? Is it potentially a perk that you would pay for? Do you prefer to have that morning or evening service? And let's think about it. Do we really need our cabins cleaned twice in a 10 our span. This is the first of many opportunities for you to share your comments just below in this community. We'll see what everyone thinks. 
Cold beer here. We've all heard that at stadiums, right? Holland America is yelling, screaming from the top of their lungs. They're celebrating 150 years. Their 150 year anniversary is April the 18th, and they're having a competition. They're giving away a free cruise to Alaska. They've launched a poster design contest on their Facebook and Instagram page. Go to Holland America uh, Cruise Line on their socials. You can help create that poster and maybe win a free cruise to Alaska, but that's not the only thing they're doing. They're raising their glass in the air. They're giving us a discount. They're throwing that price back. 75 cent drinks. This is a happy hour that they are offering on board. 75 cents. What can we buy in today's world for 75 cents? There's not much we could buy. If you can think of something we can buy for 75 cents, put it in the description below. Maybe individual candy at the gas station. I don't even know what else. I don't know. Let us know in the comment section below. Um, the cruise line is off, also offering several different things uh, on board. They're changing their menus a little bit to offer some different things from the 1920s. They have a special partnership uh, with the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island that they're doing. They're also having a special merchandise, 150 year celebration merchandise on board, but 75 cent drinks is the headline. And it makes me wonder if you could choose your favorite tropical cold beverage for 75 cents. What beverage are you choosing? Let us know in the comment section below. And congratulations to Holland America. Have you sailed them? Let us know in the comment section below. Nassau is in the news today. They just shattered this record a few months ago. It was in Q4 of 2022. They actually broke the record twice in like 10 days. We reported on that. But here we are in 2023. Cruising is here. It's back. Capacity is there. Cruise ships are here from North America. Bigger ships than ever. They're sailing. Of course, Nassau is one of the most popular ports of call for cruise ships. They're building uh, and doing all sorts of construction there uh, and going to be able to accommodate even more cruise ships but listen to this yesterday, just yesterday, they set a new single day passenger record. 28,554 passengers were in Nassau yesterday. That does not include the 10,000 plus crew members that are on board. And some of them, of course, get off the ship. That does not include them at all. There were six ships in Nassau yesterday that were part of this record. And there were, uh, there were two Oasis class ships, uh, Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas, Harmony of the Seas, uh, the Mardi Gras from Carnival Cruise Line, the MSC Maravilla, and two ships from Celebrity, the Beyond, and the Reflection were there. Uh, what an exciting time, right, to cruise. The big ships are there. And, and Nassau, of course, celebrates this record. Uh, the vendors, the locals, businesses are happy. But is it a good thing? We've seen this record now broken three times in the last probably three months. Uh, and it reminds us that there's more opportunities to cruise than ever. Cruise ships are bigger than ever before. And sometimes when I pull up to a port, I like to see other ships. I enjoy seeing other ships and marking them off my list. But at the same time, when you get off the ship, there's 28,000 plus people there with you. That limits excursion opportunities, that limits accessibility to taxis, that limits seating at restaurants. It's great for ports. Do not get me wrong. We're excited about that. They deserve that. They've invested time and money in their businesses. But sometimes as a cruiser, when you pull up and you see all those cruise ships and you get excited, you have to remember there's a lot of people here. That's why it's always important to plan ahead. Plan your excursions ahead. If you have to put down a deposit for your excursion to hold your spot, do it because other cruise ships are there. And if you wait until a month in, until a week or two before you cruise, until you get on board, things may be sold out because there's 28,000 people visiting with you. What do you think about this story here from Nassau? Do you think it's a good thing that 28,000 plus people were in port are ports getting too busy? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, Nassau is only going to continue to grow. Uh, they attract over 3.7 million passengers every single year. Uh, we're excited to go back there hopefully in 2024. Listen to this story from Norwegian. They just had their earnings call this week. Uh, they reviewed 2022. The earnings call was regarding Q4 and there were some interesting conversations 
around the Prima class of ships that they've built. Amanda and I cruised the Prima last October. She's a beautiful ship, but Norwegian had this interesting idea. They separated from the industry, from other cruise lines, and instead of building these big mega ships, they went smaller. They built a 142,000 gross ton ship. When cruise lines are building 200,000 plus gross ton ships. And this week they said maybe that was a mistake. Listen to this. Norwegian Cruise Line President and CEO Frank Del Rio told Wall Street this week that the remaining ships in the Prima class are going to be bigger. And we knew that. They announced that. They're calling it Prima Plus. They announced it months, to, months ago. But the third and fourth ship in the class, the Viva's about to come out, ship three and four have no names yet. They're going to be 10% bigger. But ships five and six will be 20 percent bigger. They are going bigger. It's interesting. Uh, Harry Sommer, who we met on board uh, the Norwegian Prima when we cruised, said this. There's a couple of reasons why they're going bigger. Number one is they need bigger uh, fuel tanks uh, to allow uh, methanol gas to be used. That's one thing they want to do for the environmental, environmentally fr friendly and their plan uh, to be carbon neutral. But they mention economies of scale. They mention the bigger our ships are, the more passengers we can fit, of course, on those ships. We're already offering the same thing. We're offering uh, the sh uh, shows and food and entertainment. If you offer it to 3,000 people, you can offer the exact same offerings and products to 4,000 people. Listen to this. Harry Sommer says this. And while I read uh, some of his comments, I'm going to show you some pictures from our trip on board the Norwegian Prima in October. We were really excited about the performance of Prima. Uh, Prima came out of the gate as our best book ship with great yields, great onboard revenue, and most importantly, great guest satisfaction. But he also said, when we look at the platform now that it's in operation, we think we can take the great guest experience and great financial performance and get slightly better economies of scale by diving, by driving the ships a little bit bigger. The bigger size for me Last two, last two ships is really a combination. He uh, closed with this. In addition to having the large, the ships larger to house the methanol tanks, we're able to get more scale on those as well. More passenger count. The goal of making the last two ships about 20% bigger is to deliver a fantastic guest experience and see we can do what we can do to leverage scale and become more decarbonized along the way. It's interesting that he points this out. The Prima is beautiful, and it's exciting to see and hear that the remaining ships after Viva will indeed be larger and maybe offer new things. They also shared that ships are going to be delayed. They had news about this a couple of months ago, but they have confirmed uh, on Tuesday that the, the remaining ships will be released in 2025, 2026, 2027, and 2028. Nothing for 2024. The additional uh, a tonnage and offerings on board these ships is going to result in over $1.2 billion of money. And a Norwegian, of course, announced this in their earnings call where they said, we did not make money in 2022. Uh, the, the, the stock price tanked 10%. A lot of people hopped on that and they said, we're going to spend or invest an additional $1.2 billion in the remaining ships. Uh, it's an interesting concept. They said, maybe we went too small. We're going to go larger. Uh, but one neat thing uh, from it all is once this class is complete, these six sh uh, ships, you're going to be able to sell a smaller version if you want to with the Prima and the Viva or a larger version, those larger Norwegian ships that you become accustomed to like the Encore. Islanders, we have shared several cruise news stories today from cabin service being cut twice a day to once a day. Your thoughts about that to 75 cent drinks, 150 years for Holland America to ports being busy. Nassau breaking their single day record and busy ports in general. Do you like it? Is it a good thing to ship size with Norwegians saying maybe we went too small? There are so many opportunities for you to share your thoughts. It's one thing to watch the show. We appreciate that so much. We want you to be engaged. Pick out a story or two or all of them. Share your comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best effort to see those, to respond to those. Also, if you have questions, if you're looking to book your cruise, let us know. Email us at travel at bookislandtime.com. We will see that email. We will work with you to plan your cruise. Uh, every detail that you need, if you just booked your cruise, you want us to manage it, we can do that as well. 
Islanders, like I said at the top of the show, it is a new month, the month of March. Go make it a great one. We'll see you in the comments section below on our Facebook page and tomorrow right here on Island Time.